Um, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on, on which we uh, meet this afternoon and pay respects to elders past, present and emerging. Uh, I won't go through the list of dignitaries. It is enormous. You all know you're amazing. Uh, as for the industry, well, you're better again. Go get them. Um, I'm really pleased uh, to be here with you all today for the launch of the TQ Blueprint, a plan to support the Towards Tourism 2032 strategy. And I'm just going to take us back for a moment, then we're going to have a bit of a chat about now, and then I'm going to take us forward again. So um, if we go back a few steps, and it's great to have a couple of the architects of um, the original Action Plan for Tourism Recovery here with us. Uh, back in June 2022, which was quite a different time, uh, we were shaking off COVID, uh, that C word, and our tourism industry reference panel released their final action plan to help industry and government look beyond the initial COVID recovery and focus on making Queensland the destination of choice for visitors near and far. The panel, led by Liz Savage, who's here with us today, set out 75 recommendations and an ambitious task to reach $44 billion uh, in OVE by 2032. After the action plan came the long-term tourism strategy launched at DQ last year. The strategy, importantly, was based on the amazing amount of work that that panel did talking to industry uh, and, and led to 94 actions uh, to be undertaken. And of course, it's not an ambitious target. It's not something we aspire to be. It is the target of $44 billion. And hasn't that been highly embraced by everyone? Um, and now comes the blueprint. And again, well done to TEQ on shaping this body of work. The blueprint provides role clarity for TEQ in relation to DTIS and for DTIS in relation to TEQ and also for industry and the regional tourism organisations across experience development, aviation, events, international education and crews. These are areas where we already collaborate so closely, so it's welcome move to make it super clear. As we heard from the industry reference panel, we know that it is hard uh, at times for industry to find the front door for government and TEQ and sometimes those doors look a little similar. Um, but this distinction that TEQ has been able to arrive at as part of their blueprint will certainly help. Of course there are other high level priorities linked uh, between the Towards Tourism 2032 strategy and the blueprint where DTIS and TEQ complement and leverage from one another including hitting that very real target I've already mentioned some demand activities, the events framework, accessibility and sustainability, Brisbane 2032, which we've heard a lot about, and of course, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander tourism. The only way Queensland will be able to compete and grow our visitor economy is through strong collaboration across government and industry and between DTIS and TEQ. I'm proud to share that DTIS and TEQ are working closer than ever before. If I'm not speaking to Trish daily, it feels like it. And I love it. Uh, Trisha's office, uh, her team, my team, again, if they're not talking daily, it certainly feels like it. Uh, and then we've got Chad Anderson, who's here in the room with us as well, who's the new Deputy Director General uh, for Tourism. And again, he's talking with the, the TQ leadership team very, very regularly. And quite frankly, this is how it should be. And I'm really pleased that it is. Whilst we've seen some great results for Queensland's visitor economy, uh, we have significant economic headwinds ahead of us. And critically, a hyper-competitive visitor economy landscape, mixing with some really evolving uh, consumer behaviours. Put simply, it is highly competitive and other states are absolutely spending heavily and doing their absolute utmost to ensure every dollar they spend is effective. The global international travel outlook has boosted in 2023 to certainly to be uh, better than first expected. Uh, and we've seen from 18% uh, below 2019 levels uh, as, as, uh, as seen uh, to 24% as forecasted in March. At the moment, travel is still prioritised over other discretionary spending, which is fortunate, having mentioned those uh, four winds, headwinds. Uh, international visitor, visitor arrivals, of course, are still forecast to return to pre-pandemic levels by 2025. International aviation connectivity is critical to the economic recovery and growth of Queensland's tourism industry. More air services mean more tourists, and in some of our more regional destinations, those international tourists are hypercritical. Uh, while we are working to recover our pre-COVID international capacity, Queensland still is 13.2% lower than the national level at 86%. And I don't think that's through any lack of effort, that's for sure. 
Uh, as the Minister shared, Team to Tears works closely with TEQ on rolling out the $200 million, uh, million dollar partnership with the private sector as part of the Attracting Aviation Investment Fund. Uh, it's definitely working. We've seen 22 services announced, though we still have work to do to attract inbound international air services back to Queensland, and we've heard some of those markets mentioned earlier around China and India as a real focus. TQ and DTIRS have complementary roles in supporting you, the industry and operators, the regional tourism organisations, and driving growth in Queensland. We have challenges, but for me, who can sometimes be a little bit glass half empty, uh, the biggest risk I see is we don't get the opportunity to realise all of the opportunities, and that is an interesting way to look at it. And I've changed that recently, by the way. Feels good. So far this year, we've worked really closely to secure the British and Irish lines coming to Brisbane in 2025, which Trish mentioned. It's a great example of, of a team, uh, um, team approach, and it's great that Anthony's here as well uh, from BETA. The Year of Accessible Tourism is another great example of our partnership approach, uh, this time in the experience development space. The TIS and TEQ are working together to amplify the Queensland Government's investment in the Year of Accessible Tourism through delivering complementary elements and working as a united team when talking to industry on accessible tourism initiatives. The TIRS provided a million dollars to TEQ to deliver a suite of targeted initiatives that promote accessible tourism. A podcast series, videos and images to tell the accessible tourism story. A marketing campaign delivered in partnership with industry and enhancing TEQ's website for accessibility. It's important TEQ and the TIRS work together to share information in industry newsletters and updates on Year of Accessible Tourism, and we do including the toolkit resources and, of course, the QTIC Accessible Tourism Accreditation Programs to educate RTOs and industry to maximise the ongoing opportunities. And it would be remiss of me not to mention Brett Fraser and QTIC and the uh, working re relationship we have uh, with Brett and his team as well. So you might ask, all this guff about role clarity and working together and it all feels good, why the focus? There is a bigger opportunity before us. Bear with me. Some of you may have seen this wheel before. This really articulates the steps that we're taking to develop the Brisbane 2032 legacy strategy and plan. We often talk about our green and gold runway to the games, but when we talk about legacy, we're actually talking about 2042. So many times I hear the conversation stop at 2032. Having been originally from Sydney, go the Maroons, uh, I saw after the Sydney 2000 games a perspective that said, we've hosted them and now they will come. Mm, they sort of quite didn't. So the real challenge in all of this is there will be a natural uplift as it relates to the Games and as all the great work that Trish and her team do, people become more aware of Queensland, it'll be amazing. The question is, how soon can we bring that uplift into play and how shallow can we make the dip, which is inevitable, on the other side? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a challenge. So for us, this is an area where our partnership needs to grow stronger to make sure that Queensland is truly globally understood and known to serve us well over the coming 19 years. While we're at the very last stage in this wonderful wheel of joy, uh, there, there, were some key, there are some key themes that have emerged during the public consultation and feedback. They include sport, health and social inclusion, a better future for our environment, economy, jobs and innovation, celebrating the world's oldest living cultures, and creating an inclusive, accessible and barrier-free society for people with a disability. The Brisbane 2032 Legacy Strategy will be finalised and published later this year, followed by a series of implementation plans to outline how we will deliver outcomes to ensure Brisbane 2032 has far-reaching benefits across Queensland, Australia and Oceania over the next 20 years and beyond. In closing, before we get to the, the main event, I'd like to leave you with one final thought and it's what I ask of my team each day, and that is that they bring their best each day. Most recently, one of my best days as the new DG was being in Palm Cove in far north Queensland for cultural heritage management training for the start of the southern end of the Wangedi Trail. A little trail project, the most technically complex and longest trail development ever delivered in Queensland, spanning, joyfully, a World Heritage Area, three national parks, two local government areas, three separate native title claims, as well as a bunch of freehold and reserves held in trust. What a project. It's a project that's been a long time in coming. We've formed a really strong team within the department to deliver this, and we've worked very, very closely with the Department of Environment and Science 
the local stakeholders, some of whom I've already mentioned. Though this is one of the best experiences I've had as a DG, it's just the beginning. So, whether it's TQ, you as industry, QTIC, RTOs, same thing I say to my team every day, have your best day, every day. Good luck, thank you.